I realized in terms of the story, in terms of the plot, why they had to leave Gordon at back at the base, like why they had to trick him. He's OP. He would have beat Veto in one hit. He's obviously licked, confirmed. Seke and Gordon are licked. What's up, Dapper Squad? Ignore my pre-intro. Obviously, I'm joking and I'm an idiot, but I am so excited for this episode 49, Beyond Limits. Last episode was incredible. This fight is getting intense. I love how Ghosh, Charmy, Gray, Fenra, Vanessa are all supporting Asta, even Yami with some advice, Noel protecting the others. And then we got a nice clean stab in, hopefully with the anti-magic and stabbing inside of him, his body just decomposes and he dies on the spot. But I'm assuming it's not going to happen. I am very excited though. Let's, I, I said we find out what happens. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show, all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead. Check out that Patreon. Links are down below. Like always, if you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. Um, do not forget to subscribe if you guys currently are not. Hit that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post. And then follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. But let's hop right on into this. Uh, Black Clover, episode 49, Beyond Limits. I still wouldn't say it's that easy, guys. Yeah, that's a little premature saying. I see. He is snapping bones. And he let go of the sword, man. That is a crazy picture right there. This is... How, what? This man has no arms to his, at his disposal. Well, I'm glad she pulled him out of the way. I doubt he honestly has the stamina to be able to do so much on his own right now. That's why our boys are, and girls are supporting us, very much so. I like that. He doesn't need to lift his own arm. She'll do it for him <laughs> with the puppet <laughs> thread magic. That's so dope. This man is something else. I'm like Finro. I'd just be crying right now. Oh my god, it's so crickety. He really cannot control his arms. <laughs> this is actually insane. Man, I miss Yuno. I would love to see him right now. And that promise is gonna beat out anything. Fuck Veto, fuck Despair. We got Yuno in the background. It's like a father-son Kamehameha, fucking Dragon Ball Z. His reinforcement magic. It's <laughs> a funny way to look at it. He's spitting facts. Everyone's pushed themselves to their limits and beyond. And he's literally just dolphin diving at maximum speed. Oh no. Oh, 
Faith, hope, and love dwells good luck. That's like you know within the fifth. Is this where we finally get some Asta Demonness? It's been a minute since I heard this song. Oh, oh, Asta's speed right now is going nuts. Asta's coming out crazy right now. Oh, with the little devil flash. They're making this straight like a manga. I love the heavy black lines. Oh, that was so sick. I can see a whole fight animated like that. Ooh, that was clean. Oh, so Vanessa's threads were still on him. I thought he was, um, maybe that what, hmm. Obviously they supported, but like, he seemed like something else there for a second. Hell yeah, he is. I would, while he's down, just stab him a few times. Yami was curious as well. See? He seemed like something, obviously, Demon Asta leaked out just a little bit. What happens when you get moved, you get inspired. Oh yeah, it was pretty insane to see Dragon's roar. <laughs> Always the time to drink, I must disagree. Whoa, so... He really was one of those loved by mana. I thought he was like a hairy beast the whole time. I wonder where we deviate devi oh nope I know where we deviated the whole bloodshed of his people yeah yeah okay that's such a crazy backstory for them though so caring about the birds so caring about life are they humans yeah no I I I, I get it I just need to know What is he like, Cell? He's just gonna use a fucking self-destruct bomb now that he realizes he lost? <laughs> yeah, he's definitely pulling a Cell right now, which is being a bitch. I hate that. Oh, is this Yami? Thank the Lord. How did he get out of there? Thank the Lord, man. I was so nervous about Veto. See, he forced his way out of that. I'm, I am so curious. I mean, we know Yami's that guy, but yeah, Yami's literally a different breed. All out. <laughs> they all deserve a little head pat.
Ooh, that might have to be the thumbnail. That was clean AF. That darkness sword. Did he just, did he make a new spell? This spell reminds me of a bit of a certain stretched out weirdo. Dark Cloak Dimension Slash? What the flying fuck? Look at the way they animated that. It literally looks like it cut his fucking dimensional body out of the void of existence. See you, Mr. Despair. God damn, Yami! It's crazy how much resentment and anger trauma victims start to build and how that can like it's i it's so difficult like i always just i always hear about you always hear about those stories in media you know of one person attacking some other family the survivor of that attack ends up taking revenge on them the survivor of that attack ends up taking you know it's like it's a never-ending bloodless or blood-filled cycle of violence all just for revenge that's why they always say revenge leads to know where vengeance leads to only more pain and suffering you know but it's it's very similar to attack on titan a very good show when it comes to that sort of theme and stuff but it, it's so crazy to see it from veto because we've seen veto and the way he is for so long but then to see him as such a caring boy who loved, wanted that bird to feel no pain and seemed like genuinely such a nice kid and thought that licked was the the embodiment of hope and, and was so kind just to see what is done to his people and to turn that into anger towards the people who caused that pain on him is just is sad first off because I, I don't like seeing people go down that that road but so crazy that makes me wonder one about fauna because Veto and Ligt knew each other when they were children, so where does Fauna fit in? And obviously Raya, the Disloy, or whatever Raya's title is. But, hmm, but how did Veto end up looking the way he was? And and uh, Ligt says they can use special magic, which obviously, you know, light magic, but did Veto always have beast magic when he was even a kid? We didn't get to see his grimoire. He probably didn't get that till... See, there's so many questions I have about the Eye of the Midnight Sun. I'm glad I got some answers. Not even really answers. I'm glad I got a little, a little tease, I'll say. But it definitely caused more questions than it did give me answers. But I loved Asta just beating his ass. The love, the little tease of the demon Asta. I'm literally hovering over the, th the little part right now where, oh my, it looks so sick. Oh my God, this show is, mm, I cannot wait to uh, see. I want to know what caused it. It was obviously just an emotional rise up. He said, I'm not giving up. He just pushed, surpassed his limits unbelievably. But even Veto like felt the presence of the demon. Only Veto and Yami really thought, like, I think everyone else was just flabbergasted at what Asta did and how much he popped off, but Yami and Veto definitely felt something different. Veto especially with the demons, but then Noelle also assumed, I don't think she knew for certain, she was just trying to figure out what Veto was, that he was one of the fiends with the demon at the beginning of the show that we learned about. So, see, so many questions. I cannot wait to get answered. Oh, man. But I guess the only way to get answered is to keep watching the show, huh? If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know what you thought down below. Like always, do not forget to subscribe if you guys currently are not. Check out that Patreon if you guys want early access and full length. And then follow me on all social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. Appreciate you guys so much. Have a fantastic day.